again guys I'd like to make a quick a walkthrough of my uh, new metal dozer for those of you who have been following on my channel uh, this is not the first uh, metal uh, scale model I have I have the metal dumper the metal excavator and the track loader but all the other models I have are not as rugged and nothing compared to this brute it is about 25 kilograms of uh, 2 millimeter 3 millimeter and 4 millimeter pure steel plate made by a company called Grumalu in Spain and you can buy it in different configurations you can get it as a raw model you assemble yourself you can get it uh, as the complete assembled model powder coated without the electronics you can get it completed without the details uh, and you can add them yourself and you can also get it with electric or hydraulic options um, I usually have a tendency to go for hydraulic models because I think the movement is more fluid and smoother uh, this comes with metal actuator uh, pistons now uh, as you can see in the beginning of the uh, video demonstration you should not underestimate them they can easily lift up the 25 kilos without a problem the same this ripper blade now uh, like I mentioned uh, the model uh, is bought in different configurations and this came uh, with an empty cabin uh, I had to build the, the dashboard the cockpit the seat and put the little uh, figure uh, my little lady driver in there I added a few other details like uh, you know the shovel the fire extinguisher a little bit of a uh, for the for the chain that I have ordered that's coming and then I added the stickers round you know the caterpillar stickers uh, so it looks a little bit more real and painted a few details well if you look carefully at the truck it's quite solidly welded and I think it would last a lifetime I cannot see this bending or breaking uh, no matter what I throw at it it's driven by two large uh, motors every each track has an independent motor and they are actually quite huge you cannot stop them I don't know whether they are windshield wiper motors or something in that class but they are really big and quite strong you can lift this whole uh, uh, top the cabin part to get access to the motors it will require I take out a few screws so I cannot with one hand the tracked dozer itself uh, is controlled uh, by uh, a mixing uh, module that mixes the two tracks so when you just uh, move forward both tracks move at the same time and when you want to turn if you're going in the left uh, turning in in the left direction the left track will go forward and the right will go backwards and of course vice versa this makes it able to spin on its own axis without any problems I uh, will make a video outside as soon as the weather gets a little bit better well I'll show it pushing some real weight uh, but uh, according to the manufacturer they claim that it's easily capable of pushing 30 kilograms of forward thrust now that will be interesting to test out the reason why I opted for um, a model that was so heavy which is actually a bit cumbersome to carry around was that when it comes to a dozer you actually need something that has a good weight and grip on the ground because anything less than 18 kilograms in my experience with these uh, track models they have a tendency to slip uh, they the tracks cannot really get a grip on on the surface and and then you have a problem when you're trying to 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 doze stuff I'm really looking forward to uh, testing it uh, outside and um, so far I've just used the past uh, couple of evenings to add the details and uh, tweak and tune it I have a few things remaining that I have ordered that are coming but um, I'm really quite uh, satisfied with the progress so far stay tuned to the channel subscribe like and uh, more videos to come 
Thanks for watching. Bye.